Here's a recorded phone call that I have with a seller yesterday about his property, and we're thinking about buying this property to keep it as an Airbnb. I hope this video adds a lot of value to you, so make sure you listen all the way through, and if it does, please show your boy King Kong some love. Boom! Smash that thumb up, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Intro. Let's go get this money! <laughs> Comment. Yeah, sorry, I must have lost you somehow. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I, I was actually talking to myself for a while. I, I didn't know that it got disconnected. So if it's my fault, I apologize. No worries. Okay, fantastic. So I'm basically, um, I guess I'm going to go over some information with you really quick here. Um, okay. So besides getting the right price for the property, what is another reason that you would consider selling this property? Well, because I'm trying to relocate to another state. Oh, where are you moving to? Uh, Nevada. Nevada. What, uh, what brings you there? Um, just to get away from the Northwest. <laughs> <laughs> Too much rain for you? Yeah, I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Too much rain. We got a lot of neighbors that actually want to move to because it's just too much. So I hear you. Do you have a time frame as far as – so let's say we can come to an agreement on a fair price that works for you and work for us. Do you know roughly when you like to sell and close escrow on the property? Well, we're pretty flexible on that, to be honest with you. I mean, certainly it would nice. take us some time to get, get our stuff out of there. But I, yep. I have my travel trailer down in Nevada right now. As a matter of fact, that's where I'm at. And my wife, my wife is still up there. So um, I see. I, I just came back down here. I'd, I'd been down here, and then I went back home, and then I came back down. So, um, but and and that's what I'm doing is looking at some houses down here right now. So, um, we could be flexible. So, okay. So closing within the next, you know, 45, 60 days or so would yep. that be okay? Oh, with you? yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Fantastic. So, have you found any houses down there that you like already? Yeah, we've looked at some, and we're thinking about building it, and you know, having a new one built too. But so we just haven't we haven't locked into anything yet. I met with a realtor yesterday, and I did some looking around and today. But you know, we just got to figure out what we're going to do with ours first. You know, their market's pretty hot too. So if you come in down here uh, and do a contingency based on selling yours, you know, you're probably you're, they're probably not even going to write the offer up right now. So yep, no that. That is true. I agree with you. Yeah, typically um, to get anything in this market, you have to be pretty, pretty quick on it. Yep. Okay. So let me see here. Okay. So this is a single. Okay. So it's a single Rambler. It's a single story or or, or two story. No, it's a two. It's a two story house. All the bedrooms are upstairs. Okay. Oh, all the bedrooms upstairs. Okay. Two car garage. Yep. Does it have a view yep. day? Um, it does a uh, partial view of the water from the two upstairs bedrooms facing the west, a from the master oh, nice. bedroom facing east. Okay, nice. Um, what year is the house built? 1991. Okay, so 1991. Is there any HOA fees that we have to worry about? I have some, but I'm not, I, I think they're quarterly is what we pay them. I don't think it's monthly, but... Honestly, I don't pay those bills, so I couldn't tell you how much they are. Sure. Because uh, the wife uh, takes care uh, take care of that. Yep. Yep. I hear you. Now, if we were to rent the house out, how much do you think we will be able to get in rent? Ooh, boy! I, I just just the little bit I know because I haven't checked on rent lately uh, in Whatcom County until now that we're starting to think about selling because we could find ourselves in a transition too. Um, I was shocked to see what stuff was bringing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. ooh, I, I, gee, I would think twenty five hundred bucks a month, pretty easy. I don't know. I mean, I, okay, five hundred bucks a month. Okay. As far as the repair goes, do you know if the kitchen, the bathroom has been updated? Does it have granite? Yeah. Cabinets? So, yeah. So we we put uh, we upgraded the kitchen and put new cabinets in and granite countertops in there. Um, the master bed bathroom. We actually built on that used to be kind of a observation deck. I mean, it was a real small deck. It made no sense at all. So we built a master bathroom off that with a sunken corner tub with a jetted tub, 
and then a walk-in shower, and then put a walk-in closet where the bathroom used to be in the master, which gave that a lot more room. And then we put all tile floor in that in that master bathroom, as well as the kitchen got all new tile floor in it at that time. Um, we put in a propane fireplace within the last few years. It had an insert, wood burning insert that we never used. Uh, we put a brand new furnace in in December, a uh, high efficiency mm -hmm. furnace. Uh, what else? You, um, do you know when you updated the kitchen and the bathroom? Do you know what year that was done? I'm going to say it was 2009. Okay. So 2009. Perfect. So it seems like there's yep. a mortgage about 144 that we need to pay off. That is correct. Okay. So let me see here. Uh, so once the mortgage is paid off, do you know roughly how much you guys are looking to walk away with in your pocket? Well, um, the, you know, for, I don't really know very little about selling a home to a company like yours you know obviously i know i know what real estate fees if you went through a, a realtor and sold it to somebody and you know you had closing and taxes and all the stuff that goes involved yeah we're hoping to walk away with you know somewhere around three hundred six thousand bucks so okay so plus 306 so we're looking at a purchase price of four hundred fifty thousand. Okay. right got it so, um, I mean, we are willing to buy the property in an this condition, and we are willing um, to take care of all the closing costs, all the fees for you, so there, there won't be any realtor commission. So with that, we, you know, we definitely want to make sure this is just a hassle-free sell for you. So with that being said, do you think, could you go any lower than um, the 306 in your pocket for us? I, I, I don't think so at this point because, you know, I, I I'm, I'm, I had a realtor come by, someone I know real well, and he's convinced that we could sell that thing for five hundred thousand with without doing a whole lot of things. I mean, just a couple little cleanup things that I'd want to take care of. Um, and I, and I thought, well, I want to research this other option too, and I told him that. Um, and the reason I say that, there's a house, uh, and you can look it up if you want. You can see the records on it. It was built the same time our house was. That house sold to a company called, um, which I think they do okay. kind of what you guys do. Yep. That house, that house sold for four hundred thousand dollars. It needed siding all the way around it, and it had no remodels, no updates done to it. You know, it doesn't have a driveway. We've got an asphalt driveway. They had rocks with weeds. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I based it all on. You know, just based yeah. on what I know. They, you know, they. That company that bought it, they're doing a complete remodel on it. They're, they put brand new decks front and rear on. Well, we already have that on ours, and and so you know, just based on what I saw there, I you know, I think I think I was on the money. But okay, I think they're going to ask. They're going to ask close to six hundred thousand for it when they're done. But they're doing a complete gutting of that house on the inside too. But I don't know if you're looking to resell or if you guys are looking to rent either. So I'm not sure exactly what you guys do. So. <laughs> yeah, so there's a couple things that we really once we buy it in this market, it will probably, you know, we're thinking you're probably we might buy it, remodel, clean it up, and then probably rent it out. Um, if we take care of all the closing costs, all the fees, we're going to buy the property in an asset condition. I know that you guys, you know, plan to move to uh, Nevada. Um, and so when you do move, you take whatever you want with you and every anything that you guys don't want. You can just leave it there. You don't have to worry about cleaning it up or hiring a crew or anything. We can come in. We'll take care of that for you. Um, like I said, we want to make sure this is just a, a smooth transaction and a hassle-free sell for you guys. Um, so with, with cover all the closing costs, taking over the property as is, I mean, would you consider a purchase price of 415000 Mm, I don't think that's going to get it there. I mean, I'd be more than happy to talk to my wife, but I just don't think that's going to be enough to do what we're trying to get accomplished. Okay. So what is so what is like the bottom line, the least that you need out of this? Well, I, I kind of started at my bottom line, which I know is also the top of my line, but you know, I just like to say. I, I I know I know that market's really hot right now. It's hard to find those houses, you know, that 
it's getting harder and harder for these young families to afford a place too. So, I mean, we might have a little bit of flexibility there. I, I, I'd want to talk to before I'm committed to a number. Okay. Do you know be able to chat with the wife? Because I also yeah, I'll talk, her, I'll talk to her tonight. She's she she's she's still working in the library, so you know we oh. talk every night. So you know. Okay. So how about this? Um, I definitely want you guys to move forward with confidence and, and everything like that. I know you, you've you got to chat with her. Um, so how about I touch base with you again um, about the same time tomorrow at 11 o'clock? Would that work for you? That would work just super. Sounds good. I'll talk. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day, okay? Thank you very much. Bye. Yep, thank you. So I'll be calling the seller back today. So make sure you like and subscribe for part two. Reason why I don't push a hard close on the seller is because I feel like he needs time to talk to his wife. I feel like if I push too hard, then I'm gonna be then I'm gonna lose on the sale. This is something that you gotta feel on the phone call. You can't use the same tactic on every single person. And how you know this is through experience. There are sellers that makes excuse that wants to talk to their wife or their husband. And typically, if they if typically if that's what they say, I will I will ask them. So is the wife is the husband around? Um, you know, like is that the main reason why you can't move forward, or is it because the price? Is it me, or is it the process that you are worried about? Right? I box them in, I frame them in, and then I get straight to the point and see what is the actual reason. But once again, you cannot use the same tactic on every single person. You have to adjust and you have to adapt based on the phone call. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it does add some value to you. And if it does, please show your boy King Kong some love. Boom, smash that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Also, too, is turn on the bell notification so when I upload a new video or when I go live, you get notified. Until next time, take care and ciao.